previously on La La Loopsie Popular. I really need to talk to someone about all of this. Wait, no. We never kissed. We could have been a mess. If you say one word to anyone about what you just heard, then they'll all hear a lot of worse things about you. Understood? Are you entirely sure we need to watch a film for this to be a good date? No. All I need is you. That's what I was gonna say. I haven't forgotten you, Gina. I remember you. I'm sorry it ended the way it did. If you really love me, you wouldn't break up with me. Everything about you is fake! Do you not remember anything? We'll never be together again. And I hate you! Amber, can I come in? Okay. Are you feeling okay today? Do you think you'll be able to go back to school? Uh... Yeah, I'm feeling much better today. Good to hear. I'll be downstairs. It's been a few days. Maybe I'll take my mind off Jack. Oh, this is impossible. I give up. Were you really sick or not? What do you think? You have a really gullible mom. Wait, why did you skip school anyway? I thought you said you were fine after the breakup. I'm sorry, I just didn't want to bombard you with all my problems. I was too upset to talk about it. But I'm fine now, I promise. You could have said, I am your best friend. But as long as you're okay now. I am. Don't worry. As far as I'm concerned, Jack is history. Just a reminder that your homework is due in for next Monday. And remember, if you're staying in school, then you need to sign in at reception. Have a good weekend, everyone. about? It's a half day, remember? Oh, yeah. See you on Monday. Wait, where are you going? To town with Liam. Ooh, have fun. Are you aware that he's literally two feet away from us? Whatever. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. Come on. Well, we're here. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to do? Amber, can I talk to you about something? Yeah, sure. Whatever it is. Well, let's just go near that tree, okay? Okay. So, what is it? I just feel really comfortable around you. Like, I can tell you anything. Thanks. And, uh, yeah, you can tell me whatever it is. You're a really great friend. I don't know anyone else quite like you. Thank you. You're really nice too, and I know that I can trust you, which is a lot more than I can say for some people. I like you a lot. You're amazing. Um, thanks. Okay, please don't get offended, but why are you saying all of this at once? I mean, it's nice and all, but I just don't know why now. Look, if this comes out wrong, then please don't be mad at me, okay? I don't know if you think the same about me or not, but there's no harm in asking, right? When I said I like you, I mean... I like, like you, in that way. I've liked you for ages. You're just perfect. Oh, and in case I didn't mention it earlier, you're hot, like, seriously hot. Oh, that didn't come out how I wanted it to. Please don't tell me I'm creeping you out here. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's sweet. You're beautiful, and I honestly mean this. So... Would you be interested in, I don't know, going somewhere with me? Of course. 
And let me just say, I'm really glad you said that first, because I wouldn't have had the guts to tell you that I have a huge crush on you, which I do. So, when are we going? That went down a lot better than expected. Uh, does right now sound like a good time? Come on, I've got somewhere I want to show you. I'm really sorry if you're expecting something five star. I just shh. This place is cute, honestly. Cute place, cute girl. Come on, let's get a table. Hi, welcome. Would you like a table for two? Yes, please. Right over here. Can I get you two anything to drink? I think I'll have a soda water, please. Same here. Okay, thank you. We'll bring your menus in a second. So, how are you? I'm pretty good. What about you? I'm doing okay. Listen, I just need to get something out here. Go ahead. I know about Jack. What do you mean? Well, I knew you two were going out. <sighs> that wasn't really my best kept secret. But we're not going out anymore. I know, I know. That's why I carried on talking to you. Me and Jack are pretty good friends. And he told me that he was dating you, but apparently something happened between you two and all of a sudden he started asking me how to break up with you. Jack, I'm sorry. I just, I just can't do this. Maybe you could, like, fake going on a date with her, please. It, it's the only thing you can do, you asked. Holly, there you are. Uh, what do you want? So how did the date go? Date? What are you talking about? I knew your relationship wasn't working, and you two are broken up now, so I carried on talking to you, because he wouldn't be too bothered. It's not like you were cheating on him. Wow. Okay. I just wanted you to know that I'm not a cheater, and never will be. Please don't hate me for bringing that up. It's okay. I'm over him. Like, 100%. I'm just surprised that he was planning to break up with me for so long. I guess that's why we didn't talk for months. Well, as well as the fact I wanted to break up with him, too. And why would that be? I think you would know. Me? Why would I know? Let's just say that there was another guy in the picture. Do I know this guy? I think you know him very well. Two soda waters? Uh... Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that was about. <laughs> Yeah, I noticed that. Hey, do you know Ollie Garcia? Is he that really tall guy on the football team? Yeah, and the other day we were talking and he- <laughs> <laughs> No, I did not. That was you. What even is that stuff? Maybe we should take some of that and throw it on Tia's face. Certainly we had improvement. <laughs> Like, check this out, she runs a meme page. My life is a meme page. <laughs> Look at this photo of you when you're seven. Okay, that's gone too far. Hey! Try not to kill each other. <laughs> Wait. Guys, just a thought. Where's Amber? Ugh, why would we invite her? Yeah, she's really been getting on my nerves. How? Here's a better question. What do we actually like about her? Nothing. She's so fake. She's practically turned into Tia. Yeah, she's pathetic. One moment she likes Jack, the next she likes Liam, then she likes them both. Then when she chooses to break up with Jack, suddenly she wants him back again and gets all upset. Don't get me started. What do they even see in her? I swear there's nothing in her head. She's gotta be the dumbest girl in 10th grade. I know. She just goes around thinking she owns the place and she can get whatever boy she wants just because they find her pretty. By pretty, you just mean she has more makeup than brains. True. I wonder if she can see her reflection in her pillow when she wakes up. <laughs> she probably can, to be honest. Well, why did you make friends with her in the first place? I don't really know. She basically forced her way into our group. She was so desperate at first, and she got annoying, so I tried to get rid of her by telling her to go take down Tia. I thought it would keep her busy, but she still hasn't got the message. Why not just tell her, then? You can't just tell someone you hate them as much as we hate Amber. Plus, now she's almost perfect, she'd probably go tell the teachers and ruin our lives. Even though she's cheated on, like, what, 
50 boys. She thinks she's so perfect, when really, she's the biggest slut in the world. Yeah, but when you hate someone that much, it's pretty hard to contain your emotions. Sometimes, I feel like screaming in her face. Never mind sometimes, I always want to do that. Why can't you just move back to her old school? I mean, nobody here actually likes her, apart from her stupid boyfriend, who's not even her boyfriend anyway. She just stole him off Tia. Why did she leave? Probably because nobody there was fake enough to be her friend. I'm gonna go get a drink, okay? Thank you so much for this. I had a lot of fun. Me too. Honestly, it's no problem. But you should let me pay. Nope. Please, I'll pay you back on Monday. No, you're not paying me back. I eat my food, I pay for my food. That's the way it works. I'm serious. <laughs> Fine. Is this a date? Do you want to be? <laughs> well, if it is, then it's the best date I've ever been on. <laughs> You're not just saying that. No, I honestly mean it. Thank you. For everything. It's okay. I'll see you on Monday, okay? Yeah, see you on Monday. Bye. Bye. Hey, um, hi. Do you want to come sit here? Uh, okay. Yeah, there are no other spaces, so. We haven't talked for ages. I know. We're cool, right? I guess. Good. I think we can both agree that we don't like Shia. Yeah. It's kind of funny how the whole school thinks you and Liam are together now. Tia totally deserves it for cheating on him. Can we please talk about something else? Okay, fine, lovebird. So, how's your group coping without us? It's going pretty well. We usually talk to Lexi and Tori. So, no sign of Scarlet? No, she just hangs out with Tia. I guess it's because nobody else likes her. I never really liked her in the first place. She was just this weird wannabe emo kid. She got suspended four times last year. What? Didn't hear it from me. Wow. But to be honest, it's Scarlet we're talking about. I wouldn't put it past her. Yeah, she nearly got expelled. So, how are things with you? I guess they're okay. Okay? You have the hottest boyfriend in the whole of 10th grade. It's more than okay. He's not my boyfriend. Yet. He will be soon, don't worry. How can you never sit with us anymore? I don't know. Why do you talk to Holly and her few lesbian friends? They're not lesbians. Holly likes boys as well, and I'm not sure. I guess it was because they were the first people to talk to me here. Listen, I don't want to ruin your friendship or anything, but if I were you, I wouldn't get too close to Holly. She's a liar, and if you get on the wrong side of her, she's going to try and ruin your life. Um, okay, that's a little extreme. She's been nice to me so far. Can I ask you something? Why did you start talking to our group in the first place? Did Holly tell you to come and ruin us? Or for you to take us down? N no. You were the ones who started talking to me. Remember how Tia are obsessed over my boots? Still, you chose to come sit with us the next day. Or Holly chose for you. No, it was my idea. Your group seemed to like me apart from Scarlet, so I wanted to talk to you. Fine, but don't say I didn't warn you. Uh, that's my stop here. On Monday, you can come and sit with us if you want. No offense to Matilda, but it's kind of boring without you. Okay. I'll see you on Monday. If you're not with Holly. Uh, sorry. I don't know what I was thinking on Tuesday. I don't need Jack. Besides, Liam's the nicest guy you could ever meet. He took me out for a surprise date and offered to pay for it all. Maybe he'll ask me out soon. Or maybe that's wishful thinking. Either way, it doesn't feel wrong like it did before. Everything seems to have just fallen into place. I know I made the right choice. Or did Holly make it for me? No, no, it was me, and it was definitely me who ended up falling for Liam, when I was just supposed to fake liking him. But Holly's okay with it, and I don't feel guilty anymore. Well, I don't feel like I owe him to Holly, that's for sure. I just can't help feeling like I've done something really bad. Liam and Tia were 
were really happy together, and I was the one who split them up. But Tia was the one who cheated on him. I was the one who made Liam realize the truth. I did a good thing, right? I'm not so sure anymore. <laughs>